Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to see the second lab program. Okay, uh, so already I have explained you all the first lab program. It is uploaded and it is live in my channel. So go see the first program then come back and see the second program so that you will understand few things whatever the basic things are there for the lab programming so that i have explained in the first video so first go back read the first uh, lab program then come back to this second lab program okay so let me explain you all as i told you all uh, in the before session itself always my first part will be the problem statement so let me explain you all the second lab program of python programming okay so this is the second lab program so write a python program firstly i'll explain you all so let me make it a bit smaller in size so that the complete question will be available for you all so here on the screen you can see write a menu drive program in a python to find the factorial and sum of natural numbers using uh, using functions so here you need to remember four different things four different things what are those four uh, different things here is so the first thing is what is menu driven next is what is factorial next is what is sum of natural numbers okay so next is about the function okay so four different things so this the menu part will come at the last okay firstly we are going to see what is functions sorry what is functions so what is function is you are going to write a set of lines of code where it is doing some particular task so you are going to write a function for factorial you are going to write a function for finding the sum of natural numbers so that is the first point you need to remember okay next point is what's factorial so what is factorial you need to know already you know it in the maths the basic thing five factorial any factorial uh, like maths problem you take the first word they take is five everyone's favorite digit is 5 5 factorial so what is 5 factorial you need to tell me now so what is 5 factorial it is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so this is what 5 factorial is so 1 2 is a 2 2 3 is a 6 6 4 is a 24 24 5 is a it is 120 so what is 5 factorial it is 120 so this is the second part of your question so that is finding the finding the factorial this one finding the factorial next one is sum of natural numbers so what is sum of natural numbers so sum of natural natural numbers okay so what is sum of natural numbers so if i take five same value what is the sum of natural numbers it is five plus four plus three plus two plus one so one plus two is three three plus three is six six plus four is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15. So, what is sum of natural number of 5? It is 15. Right. So, this is your next part of the question. Okay. 
So this is about the problem statement and the logical explanation about this particular program. Okay. So till here, I hope you have understood the logic of the program. So till here, you have watched the video means it's that I have taken your attention to explain you all the problem in a best way. So I hope you have understood the logic. So now it's your turn to subscribe my channel. Okay. So coming to the next part of the question. So now we have seen the question and we have seen, we have seen the logic. Next part is, we are going to see the program. Coming to the programming. So here in this program, I have divided into three part. This is the function part. So you have two functions in the question. I have already showed you all. That is the first function is factorial. Second function is sum. Okay. So that is your first one. That is your definition of the function. So this is your first part. That is your definition. Next one is I have taken to give the input for the uh, input for the program. So whatever the input you are going to give the next part. So starting I told you all menu driven right. So that is this printf statement. It will give you like a menu option just like your switch case in your C++. 1, 2, 3 you can select any one of the option. Okay. Next one is giving the menu. So that is option. So here it is going to print your printing statement telling which one you want option 1, option 2 or option 3. So what is option 1, what is option 2, what is option 3 is printed in the printing statement. Now whatever the user is going to give a input that is 1, 2, 3 whatever the option he is giving that option is stored in opt variable and it is going to call the function according to this option. So if the option 1 is 1 then it is going to call the definition of factorial. If the option is 2, it goes to the else part. It is going to call the second uh, definition that is second function sum of natural numbers. Okay. If it is any other number like 3, it is going to exit. Else is last part. If you give 3, if you give 4, if you give 5, any number, if you give, it is going to exit. Okay. So, this is about the problem. So, let me explain you all how does it work. First, it is going to take the input. Number is equal to input of number. So, you are going to give an input of a number. That is the last value. So, what it has to be calculated. That is n value. So, n will be an integer. So, whatever the value you give, that will be of integer type. That will be stored in num. Okay. Now, after executing the statement, it will come to the printf statement. It is going to print option 1, option 2 and option 3 and the next statement will be executed. So, next statement will be executed. So, what is the next statement? The user has to give the input. Which one we need to find out? Either I need to find out the factorial or I need to find out the sum of the n numbers. So, that is going to be given by the input by the user. So, that input has to be an integer type and it is to going to save an OPT. Okay, OPT is nothing but option. So, whatever the option the user is going to enter, if we enter 1, okay. So, I will just show you all here. I will give the value that is 5. I will press enter key. Okay, here it is going to display you all option 1, option 2 and option 3. So, option 1 is finding the factorial. Option 2 is finding the sum of natural number. Option 3 is finding uh, like exiting. Okay, I'm going to give option 1. Okay. I'm going to give option 1. I'm not going to press enter key. I'm going to show you all what it is going to do. So, I have pressed option 1. So, 
it is going to come to the if statement if option what is the value of option what the user is entered one so whether one is equal to one condition true it is going to print factorial of five is okay this factorial of five will be printed on the output screen and fact of num fact of five this function is called so where is fact of num here is my fact of num this what it is going to do it is going to take fact of 5 return 1 so it is it is returning 1 because the value is there so if n is equal to 1 if the number is 1 or 0 okay so if it is 1 or 0 it has to return 1 because factorial of 1 is 1 factorial of 0 is also 1 n value is not 1 if m value is not 0 then it comes to the else part and it is going to do the factorial of n into fact of n minus 1 let me explain you all this what is the formula m n into fact of n minus 1 n into fact of n minus 1 so what is this what is the value of n n value is 5 right what is fact of what is fact of n minus 1 fact of n value is 5 5 minus 1 is 4 fact of 4 right so 5 into what is fact of 4 that is 4 itself then again it is going to perform fact of 4 minus 1 so what is 5 into 4 5 4s are 20 into fact of 4 minus 1 is 3 again it is going to perform 20 into what is factorial of 3 f of 3 that is 3 it is going to give n minus 1 is fact of 2 minus 1. What is 20 into 3? 60. Right? 60 into fact of 2 minus 1 will be there. So, that is 60 into 2 into fact of 2 minus 1 is 1. 60 into 2 is 120 into fact of 1. What is fact of 1? Fact of 1 is 1 itself. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, 0 is also 1 itself. So, 120 into 1 into 1 is 120. So, this is how it is going to calculate the factorial. Okay. So, now it is going to return the value of n into fact of n minus 1 okay so now it is going to print the value okay so let me show you all the output of this okay so let me run it once i'll give n value as 5 i'll give option 1 so factorial of 5 is 120 now again let me run same way it is going to take the input for num so, I will give 5. It will ask option 1, option 2, option 3. With the help of input statement, I am going to give my input that is 2. I will press enter key. It comes to 2 is equal to 1. Condition fails. This printf statement will not be executed. It comes to the else part. Again, it will check if option. What is option value 2? 2 is equal to 2. Condition true. So, it will print sum of 5 is sum of number will be called this one sum of n so sum of 5 will be called so what is sum of 5 so here n plus sum n minus 1 same way whatever we did with the factorial same way n plus sum of n minus 1 same way like 5 plus sum of 5 minus 1 so 5 plus 4 
plus sum of 4 minus 1. Same way, 5 plus 4 is 9 plus. Again, this will be calculated, calculated. Then total sum value will be given. I will press enter key. Press 2 enter key. Sum is equal to this part. Sum of 5 is 15 will be executed. Let me show you all the last output. Option 3. I will give 5. I will give option 3. Can you see? It is exited. Let me execute one more time. And show you all. 5. I will give 5 here. Exit. After like 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, anything you give, it is exited from the screen. Okay. So, this is your next lab program. This is how you are going to execute the program. So, let me execute this in your Python software that is used in the lab. So, with this is the Python software. You are going to use it in the lab. I will press enter key. So, enter the number, enter the option 1. So, factorial is 5. Okay. So, this is how you are going to see the output and show the output and explain them how it is. Okay. Always remember, whenever it is a lab program, lab exam, the first thing is read the problem statement. What is factorial? What is Fibonacci? What is sum? Okay, these keywords, whatever you have it in your uh, problem statement, you need to be careful about the definition, what you are going to learn about that. Because same thing, the external is going to ask you all. I hope you like this video. I hope you understood the problem statement, logic, program, how to execute it and how to show the output. I hope you understood this particular part. So, if you have understood, please make sure. Till here you have watched my video means it is that whatever I am explaining is really reaching you guys. So if I have reached you guys, so make sure you are going to like the video, share it as much as possible. Okay, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.